ABC7 presents Chasing the Golden State Killer. Visalia Ransacker, East Area Rapist, original Night Stalker. This suspect has had a lot of nicknames. Now we know him, of course, as the Golden State Killer. That name was coined by the late author, Michelle McNamara, in her bestseller, I'll Be Gone in the Dark. It was like someone had figured out what is all our primal fears about someone that could come in the middle of the night. He wanted to play God, and he did um, for a while. McNamara's writing sparked a lot of people to become obsessed with the case. ABC 7's Dion Lim introduces you to one of them. I, I wanted to know more. And so from there, I, you know, I ended up purchasing multiple books by retired detectives. I purchased books by other kind of true crime you know, writers. I listened to podcasts. Then I also went online to Reddit. And I ended up, you know, consuming really all the information there is. San Francisco's Tom Frawley is one of the many who share the fascination. Reddit's Golden State Killer Board has more than 20,000 registered users. With news of an arrest in the case, online forums went into overdrive, and so did Tom. I cleared my schedule, and I literally read as much as I could about, you know, the potential, you know, the potential, um, I guess, you know, criminal, you know, who is, you know, involved in this. So why exactly are people like Tom, so fascinated by this case. Turns out it may be because we're conditioned to be fascinated from childhood. Let's remind ourselves of those nursery rhymes from days gone by. I guess not the least of which could take the form of Lizzie Borden taking an ax and uh, doing the worst things possible to uh, her family members. Professor Woods believes the criminologist Scott Bond's theory. Humans are also drawn to the rare and exotic, like natural disasters. Serial killers are their human equivalent. He associates serial killers and serial offenders and the, uh, the appeal of this kind of uh, deviant behavior uh, to be likened uh, to the same kind of appeal that we might have by watching Shark Week. An undoubtedly reassuring tidbit for Tom's wife, who may not find his enthusiasm for true crime so interesting. I wouldn't say she finds me obsessive. I, I would say she finds this hobby kind of a little bit weird and a little bit unique, but she also understands the need to kind of know, you know, you know who the killer ultimately is. Joseph D'Angelo's public defender is reminding people he is innocent until proven guilty. Defense attorney Diane Howard says she is preparing for what she believes will be the biggest trial in state history. She also says this case is far from over. You can follow the Golden State Killer case on abc7news.com or on the ABC7 News app. I'm Dan Ashley. Thanks for watching this ABC special presentation, Chasing the Golden State Killer.